Iranian state media today announced that Iranian President Dr. Ibrahim Raisi and Foreign Minister Jose Namir Abdullahian, along with seven other officials, had lost their lives after their helicopter crashed into a mountain peak in the Vazagan region in northwestern Iran, close to the Azerbaijan border. The Iranian ambassador to Sri Lanka, Dr. Ali Reza Del Khosh, spoke to the media on the circumstances surrounding the president's death. Yesterday, two presidents of Islamic Republic of Iran and Republic of Azerbaijan participated in the opening ceremony of Khuda Afarin Dam in the border of Iran and Azerbaijan. After finishing this opening ceremony, three helicopters carried the, our president and all other accompanying delegation. Two helicopters sudden after 20-25 minutes flight noticed that the radio connection with the president's helicopter is cut. They started to search and after a lot of searching, they couldn't find any alarm from the president's helicopters. More than 70 rescue teams start searching from yesterday evening until today morning. Today early morning they find crashed helicopter of president, unfortunately president, our foreign minister and governor of one of the Iranian provinces and representative of our supreme leader in the, that province and also all flight crew passed away. After this accident, Iranian government notified that we will have five days public mourning in Iran. The final rites of the deceased are to be performed tomorrow. President Raisi visited Sri Lanka on the 24th of April for the inauguration of the Umawe Multipurpose Development Project, during which a number of bilateral agreements between Iran and Sri Lanka were inked. Following the announcement of the Iranian president's death, President Ranil Vikramasinghe, in an ex post, conveyed his and the country's condolences. Prime Minister Dinesh Gunavardhana II expressed his sympathies in a message to the Iranian vice president. Several world leaders also expressed their sympathies over Raisi's death with a number of countries including Lebanon and Syria even declaring periods of mourning. Messages of condolences were also issued by Iran-backed militant groups including Palestine's Hamas, Lebanon's Hezbollah and the Houthis of Yemen. Raisi, who came to power in 2021, enjoyed the complete support of his patron, Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and was seen as a strong candidate to succeed him. Following his election, Raisi oversaw a tightening of morality laws and a crackdown on anti-government protests and pushed hard in nuclear talks with world powers. He also pursued strong retaliation against Israel's attack on the Iranian consulate in Syria earlier in April, which has led some to suggest possible Israeli involvement in the crash. Israel, however, has firmly denied any involvement in Raisi's death. Following the death of President Raisi, the first Vice President, Mohammad Mokbar, has taken over his duties on an interim basis with the approval of Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. As per the Iranian constitution, a presidential election will be held after an interim period of 50 days. In the meantime, Ali Bagheri Khani has been appointed as the acting foreign minister in place of the late Hossein Amir Abdullahian. In the meantime, Ali Bagheri Khani has been appointed as the acting foreign minister in place of the late Hussein Amir Abdullahian.